Hello, my friends, and welcome to another Brood War ladder battle. Well, it feels like it's been quite some time since I did a cast. But I guess it's only been like three or four days. Uh, it was a very long three days, though, for me. I just flew back from uh, Canada, which I was taking a, a little bit of a holiday hanging out with my family. And, um, I'm, yeah, back in Japan now. I woke up at 3 a.m. this morning. So, my sleep schedule is a little bit off, you could say. Um, went out, hung out with, uh, Mio's mom. She had a stroke recently. Uh, but she's doing very well. She's in the hospital getting recovered. Uh, that was in Tokyo. And, uh, oh yeah, my, uh, Maple syrup. We bought some maple syrup. We brought it back in the old suitcase. That exploded. Uh, made a real mess of things. Nothing very serious, but I did lose my keyboard. My keyboard is an absolute wreck right now. I don't know when I'm going to be able to, you know, do some laddering again. I'm planning to start laddering as soon as I got back, but I guess I'll have to wait for a new keyboard. Luckily, my microphone wasn't in there as well uh, otherwise we'd be in some real trouble but for now i'm just going to be doing some casting um tomorrow i'm going to be hanging out and uh, watching the soup star league qualifier that just came out pretty exciting stuff uh there's also another qualifier that just happened as well i believe it's the psl the premier star league so you know, I might be watching that on my old Twitch channel. I can't really do it on YouTube, but I will uh, go ahead and try it out on Twitch. Just see how that goes, and uh, hopefully, you know, nothing nothing bad happens to my tw Twitch channel, because African TV, aka Soup, is pretty jealous with their content for the most part. We'll see what happens, though. We're just going to be watching a little bit of the qualifiers. I've seen plenty of people do it. Anyway, we're getting into this game here. We've got Rain over in the top right-hand corner. And we've got Queen down here in the bottom right. Both these players, I believe, were involved in the qualifier for the Superstar League. So, at the beginning of the game, they were having a little bit of a chat. Uh, well, kind of a one-way chat. Queen asked Rain, did he qualify for the SSL? And no response. So, Queen going to send Lings across the map here. He's already gone ahead and killed the probe that was out there. Doing a little scouting. But it seems like Rain has the correct response. Just going to throw in an extra pylon here. Make sure that in case this pylon gets targeted, he will have uh, continued power for this gateway. I don't see any more lings on the way. We have a third base coming up. So it seems that Queen is going to maneuver his way out of this early little bit of aggression. With now three zealots here at the front and one on the ramp. Rain can be pretty bold in how he moves forward. He does not want to lose this gateway, though, so running past the Lynx right now is a bit of a misnomer. He doesn't want to do that just yet. Going to get the Cybernize Core here at the front. Do we have a Forge in the main? We do. Forge is coming online. That means that Rain will not have to fear losing his early Forge to a fake Hydralis bust. He's going to have that plus one upgrade at the time of his choosing. He's going to start that here in just a moment. Queen has the pressure right now, has the initiative, but as soon as his cannon finishes, he'll likely be forced to make quite a few more links to deal with these initial four to five zealots. We've got four so far. He actually didn't make any more, pulling that one off the ramp. Have to be careful with these zealots. Don't allow one of them to walk alone by itself. If one of these gets picked off, it makes it so much easier to hold this. You only need like two more pairs of lings and you'll be completely fine. As it stands, he'll probably make two to four extra pairs. He actually stops and heads back home. And Queen really didn't make too many lings. He only made two more pairs. And went straight back to droning. So this is actually perfectly held by Queen. That little pressure did nothing here for Rain. Just start adding on 
his citadel his stargate finishes up plus one is on the way now no plus one for the corsairs just yet let's see if he starts that here in a moment a fourth hatch already on the way we've got the spire coming up and queen has done an excellent job of droning this game and just keeping the lid on rain's army not allowing him to get out on the map force any pressure he's just been kind of back here this entire time and he's even forcing out a third cannon this will probably get cancelled here in a moment as the corsair begins to traverse this map we should see the photon cannon get cancelled it's just a bit of a backup a just in case cannon and he would let this finish if he saw hydralis on the way but of course he won't see any he sees the extra hatchery and as you can see that cannon has been cancelled all good stuff here for rain as he flies through sees the spire let's see if any scourge pop out in an inopportune moment here it looks like they will not two sets are on the way but they're just going to come out here to start to defend these overlord zealots pushing out on the map second corsair here in the main and the overlords have been hidden spread all over the place obfuscating themselves to make sure that the corsairs can't get any easy kills and he's gotten no kills thus far but you know rain he's a tricky guy he could absolutely find a way to end the game just with pure corsair zealot even from a position like this where he hasn't really done any damage just yet is very good with the timings and control of these early game units and it'll be up to queen to really defend perfectly have sunken colonies exactly where he needs them and he put out five mutas as well an excellent excellent defense so far from queen one zealot gonna just try to run in here Let's see if he can even get into the main looks like it probably won't be able to do that oh that one zealot actually getting in there it looks like we'll get a drone here one drone two drones well that's a little bit annoying two drone kills over here at the third is pretty darn frustrating another one may end up going down gotta be careful with those i don't want to be losing too many drones right now third drone falls and he will finally clean this up 39 drones now for queen as he bumps that up a little bit further he will start hydralis production more overlords on the way the corsair number is getting kind of high plus one upgrade just about done first dt out on the map now he spots that with his mutas queen all over this play do we have overlord speed just yet no we do not and it is not on the way there it is it starts just now but a bit unfortunate that he didn't get that going a little bit earlier gotta say that is rough you want to have that overlord speed coming along by now because it's incumbent upon the zerg player to get another drone out on the map you know get at least a placeholder of a base going for that fourth and in order to do that you need to get rid of this dark templar that is the goal of this dark templar is just to delay the fourth and the longer that that fourth is delayed the worse it's going to be for queen he is building up quite a good hydralisk army now and has groove spines on the way you see these corsairs moving across the map and the zealots are coming as well let's see what ends up happening with these corsairs they are going to get flanked from the scourge and mutilis but it seems like he should be able to get back home with this he will lose one corsair at least the moving shot here from queen very nice he will get a second one looks like that's an excellent trade you see these corsairs really did no damage and they're gonna just retreat back to the cannons now this has gone very well for queen thus far and his drone saturation is looking fantastic we've got 45 drones that's exactly the number that you want here on six hatch hydralisk his mineral smoothing is looking pretty nice Looks like he could use a few more drones transferred from his maid to his natural, but nothing crazy. 
his fourth base is on the way. It looks like he's going to take this one as his fourth. A lot of players will do this on Polyopoid. You set up lurkers on this high ground. Try to contain or at least try to defend from that position. But you will need like lurkers here. You need lurkers here and you need lurkers over here as well. There's three points of incursion for the Protoss player now. Rain looks to be setting up for a third base now as he continues to scout the map with those Corsairs. Kind of a beautiful game that Queen has played thus far though. He's really handled Rain well thus far. Aside from that one Zealot getting three drone kills, I mean everything else has gone rather swimmingly thus far and 52 drones now on the field he's gonna quickly pop out that those last like 10 drones or so and get them to work here at the fourth base and that's all the production you really need or all the income you really need you probably need another hatchery over here um just to get that production to the absolute maximum level uh that you can with layer tech layer tech doesn't really scale that well uh, as we continue forward yeah he will go for the queen's nest i like to see it this is the queen that i enjoy watching so much uh it feels like it's kind of hit and miss recently with queen at least since his uh failure to get into the previous asl but in the kcm in this season he's done better and better he's been improving his game getting his confidence back is i guess how how i'll put it that confidence very important in a game such as starcraft and especially i think for the, the korean players um some koreans they don't really mind too much like i think rain is one of those players who you just can't phase him like he will play it well uh, pretty much no matter you know what you do to him or how things are going he's always a great player but others like for example mini can fall apart pretty quickly uh, when things are just not going his way now rain did move forward and look to trade here on this high ground doesn't look like he got really anything out of that though is forced back here as the hydras move around this top side it will get caught by just four zealots you should be able to trade those out kill the four zealots here and then attempt to retreat to a safe location if he just goes this way he can loop around and maybe get out of this spot but instead he's going to run up this high ground and you know what there's three cannons up here with zealots chasing this it looks like all the hydras will end up going down However, at the same time, big counterattack right now from Queen. He's going to run right up here onto the high ground. He's going to set up a position that will force Rain to come to him. He's going to force Rain to take an engagement that's unfavorable for these Zealots and re other reinforcements. Now, Dragoons are coming up here from the left-hand side. He's trying to snipe some of these Observers. If he gets all the Observers here... It could be very, very good for Queen, but there's still two more, still three observers, actually. A lot of probes falling here over at the third base, but that's the end of the attack for now, as Queen will have to retreat. He's losing a lot of overlords, actually, as he backs out of here as well. He has not set up a fifth base either. Um, I don't see any base down in the bottom left-hand corner, and Rain has good mining over at the 12 o'clock as well as this mineral only as that comes back up he's going to be sitting pretty here still with some mining in his main and natural and only a few probes working on that it's going to keep this a little bit of extra income uh, going while the uh, two fresh bases really shore up his overall income corsairs moving into the rally point picking off a couple of overlords here and there it was a pretty major supply block after all those overlords went down but it looks like it's all been settled it's all been handled here by queen a whole bunch more lurkers being produced a lot of links coming out now as well 
This course is try to get some damage done. We have consume on the way. A pretty well timed defiler play from Queen. He has double upgrades coming. It's actually, triple upgrades, as a matter of fact. Ooh, some Muta is finding this Corsair fleet. There's only a few more remaining. One more goes down. Some Lings running around the side here. Want to get those up into the top left hand corner. Try to shut down a probe like this. This probe cannot be allowed to get up in that top left just yet. We do not want to let our Protoss opponent set up another base in the top left hand quadrant. At least not until we have our own base down in the bottom left. Now pushing forward here. Do we have some Dark Swarm? I don't see it. No Dark Swarm just yet. There's the first Dark Swarm going down. I'm going to go ahead and consume once again. More Dark Swarm can come out here, but the Lurker number is quite low. It's going to run past the bases and starts to throw down a few Lurkers under Dark Swarm over here on the left-hand side. However, the Zealots on the right are just going to target down the Hatchery, and this Hatchery will end up falling. That is really painful right now for Queen. He lost a bunch of drones in that transaction as well. And meanwhile, Rain is setting up the base in the center right. So he is going to expand a little bit quicker than what Queen is doing. Well, he does have this base up already. He's got the Nidus Canal here in the bottom left. That's going to get spotted. You see, I think as a Protoss player with the Corsair, this base down here in the bottom left. And you don't see any overlords over here. I think the right call probably going to be to just send DTs down there to try and deal with that. Great plagues here. Really good plagues on a lot of these zealots. Look at the zealots trying to run up this ramp. They're just going to melt. Absolutely melt. As they try to run into those lurker spines. Lings coming out. Trying to take this fight now. But so much of this army has been reduced. So many of these dragoons are on almost no HP at this point. Zealots coming out to reinforce the army as... Mini looks for another pathway to attack into. Going down to the bottom left seems like a bit of a rough and difficult call. It's a long way down here and the Nidus Canal is already up. So sending his whole army down to the bottom left could result in him getting trapped down here with a Zerg army looping around and just completely mincing this mostly Dragoon force. As soon as you get some dark swarms on top of that the trading is insanely good for the product or for the zerg player excuse me coming up towards the top left i think this is the right choice mini just gonna go ahead and take the top left hand quadrant now he didn't check for these lings over here and that could be a, a bit of a mistake we'll see what ends up happening with that but We've got Ling's 2-1 already, and only two attack is done here for our Protoss players. So he is not going to be uh, two-shotting the Ling's. It's going to be three-shot to take those out. Some mutas here just being a bit annoying for now. Dark Swarm, Lurker, and Defiler making its way forward. He's going to force out a few extra storms from these templar bring down a couple of dark storms and maybe a plague here and there just trying to soften up those zealots make it difficult for him to push through any of this position bring down another plague on a bunch of these dragoons which have already been plagued i don't know what happened to the rest of these mutas but they seem to have been cleared up these lurkers under the dark swarm eventually going to be surrounded and finished and the few links that managed to get on top of this base will be pushed back it looks like we may end up going long here finally reavers are going to come out actually only 19 minutes in that's not that late rain doing a good job here of transitioning now into reaver pushing everything back this Defiler play will not stand. Rain going to shove that back very strongly. Kill off this very important Defiler there at the front line. You really want to get a plague on these units as soon as possible. 
but it seems like that kind of play has been shut down for now and reavers are just gonna stand in a defensive position two reavers over here as well we haven't seen a lot of harassment out of rain aside from running around with that one dt and then trying to kill overlords with his corsairs other than that it's been pretty uh, a pretty defensive game out of rain and just kind of massing up big armies looking for opportunities to break in and to trade as well but not really going for the harassment play with the shuttles out now and we should have a shuttle speed i imagine where are those reavers okay he does have shuttle speed here comes the reavers on the left hand side with the shuttle speed now it is possible for sure to start to see some harassment techniques coming here for rain we do end up losing that uh, all important defiler the shuttle goes down as well gonna go after these two. Oh, these two observers just barely managing to survive lurkers gonna run up on top of this but oh my goodness what a insane reaver hit there some great storms as well just clearing out a ton of these lurkers but there they go the reavers end up falling gonna change directions here now it's like rain gonna come down here and stop that base from coming up that uh, mineral only base is gonna get shut down lurkers gonna back up for now try to spread out as the protoss forces advance he's gonna send more reinforcements here plus three is done but plus three armor is also done plus two attack on these lings makes them incredibly strong we've got two plasma shields here for rain that really makes the archons beefy tanky tanky units that will not die for a very long time when it comes to fighting these links now coming forward here with the lurkers gonna get right on top of these reavers but the reavers just gonna be juggled back oh he gets the shuttle that's such a big pick even picks off the reaver as well beautifully done here by queen some storms coming out definitely gonna eat those but it's fine he's doing a great job of shoving forward now can he actually prevent rain from dragging him into like a mine out situation because he's already mining one base uh on kind of the the center of the map right this is the these are the two bases that are really contestable for zerg that they could go to either side the base in the top left i think if queen manages to prevent that from going to the protoss or from the for the protoss from uh mining that out then we should see a victory here for queen but i i doubt that we'll ever see queen take the top left like that's probably not going to happen in this game now we've got a pretty big drop coming down here into the bottom left one good storm Ooh, five kills already another storm comes out from this templar but it kind of whiffs uh, do we have any energy left looks like not and the shuttle will end up going down drones here being transferred oh my goodness they could get absolutely annihilated if he doesn't uh, pull them back before the high templar get enough energy to to cast another storm it's so close it looks like about 10 energy off of making that happen this defiler really needs to get a spell off there we go drops a another plague on these zealots and some more links are going to come through try to save these lurker eggs that are being made at the moment gunning down the archons really nice from queen do we have any more reavers over here we do we have another robotics bay very good dt play by the way this is some very smart stuff keep sending out dts right as you figure out that there's no overlord just start to mess with the zerg player if you can kill all the the defilers then you really sandbag the push like it's so hard to break through anywhere if you just don't have that dt ready and waiting or excuse me not the dt it's the defiler if you don't have the defiler ready ready and waiting how are you gonna break 
a position like this i think you're not even gonna break it with defiler but if you don't have defiler it's it's genuinely an impossibility all right templars here getting away with their lives kind of an awkward storm that was thrown down did a lot of damage to those hydras but didn't really kill anything oh my gosh two defilers over here are going to be forgotten it managed to get one plague off but now Rain's heading for the throat. He's just going to attack right up here and towards the natural. Is there enough right now for Queen to hold on? He's going to get the Templar at least. Going after a few more units here at the back line. Meanwhile, going to go ahead and attack up into the top left. Right into these Reavers though. And the Reavers are holding their ground very well. Doing so much damage right now. Holding this base. And it looks like Queen will have to tap out. He's not able to break in the top left-hand corner, and he's not able to hold here in the bottom right. I wasn't really sure who was going to end up winning that game, but it seems like everything sort of fell apart there for Queen all at once. As he was trying to break into the top left, he was just trading a little bit too poorly, and he didn't have the reinforcements to try and sandbag this push as it was coming forward. Maybe those two defilers really hurt him we had two defilers out here at the front if he had those back here to plague and dark swarm as the army was coming through for rain maybe he would have stood more of a chance maybe if he could get a plague on this as well he would have had a better uh he would have had more options right if you just drop this one plague one plague right there sniping these reavers is so much more efficient it's so much quicker you could just run in with a small pack of hydras and uh, just kill both of these in a matter of seconds or all three of these in a matter of a, just a few seconds. But when they have that full uh, 100 HP as well as the 80 shields, it becomes way, way harder. We have to sack so many more units to make that happen. It felt like Queen might have been able to stick this one out a little bit longer. I'm a bit surprised to see him tap out like this so close to the SSL. That's an, a, a tournament that's coming up very, very soon. And I imagine that both of these guys should have qualified. So giving up this quickly, a little bit surprising from Queen, but... I mean, this was going to be hard, you guys. We've, we've casted a lot of great PvZ lately. Where it's gone to this crazy late game. You have to go into Guardians and Queens and all kinds of different crazy stuff. I'd love to have seen it here. But Queen just going to take the easy way out this time. Won't be so lucky maybe in the SSL. We're going to be looking forward to that, guys. Thank you so much for watching, for joining me. I'm going to go get some sleep now. I've been awake, like I said, since 3.30 in the morning. What time is it now? It's 8.46 p.m. I'm trying to stay up a little bit later. I want to stay up to like 10 or 11 o'clock so I don't wake up at 3 in the morning again. Because that is no bueno. That is not a fun time. Hopefully I can make that happen. And hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll see you in the next video.